Hello everybody, this is Abraham at No Short Computer Services. What we got here is a computer that has been hacked and the hack was where people have called and said that uh, something was wrong with their bank account. They got person's attention. Uh, person believed them, older person, and uh, ended up giving them access to the computer and their bank accounts and it's really bad what happened but this is what we're, we are dealing with so we have a login screen and the login screen is ex asking for a password there was no password before on this computer for those that do not have a password on a computer keep in mind that if you do not have a password somebody could put in a password for you uh, if you do have a password, before they can uh, change the password, they're going to need to know your password. Um, that might be a trigger for you to recognize something funny is going on. In any case, we're here to reset the password on this computer. We're going to see how to do that. Uh, before we're going to do the password reset, we need to create uh, Windows installation media. So you create a USB with uh, Windows uh, 10 on it. This is Windows 10. I will show you quickly how it's done, the Windows installation. Just go to Google and search for Create Windows 10 Installation Media. This will give you a download link to download the tool to create uh, Windows installation media on a USB or ISO for CD-ROM. Once you download uh, the Windows Media Creator tool, uh, just uh, double click on it. Uh, you're gonna need to answer yes because it's a system process. And it's going to check for a few things. Then it's going to ask you to put in a USB drive and basically follow the prompts. It's a very easy process. I'm sure you can find uh, how to do that on the internet. So you agree to terms and just follow the prompts. It's, it's really easy to create a USB drive to, for Windows recovery. Uh, now, do not upgrade your computer. I mean, you can, but uh, we're just interested in... Uh, creating a USB to do our work to reset the password. Now that we have this uh, um, flash drive with Windows installer, uh, we're going to need to shut down the computer and uh, this Dell, this is Dell and it's really easy to boot. So you on a Dell you just push F12 to go into boot and boot from the flash drive. I've modified the BIOS settings to automatically boot from the flash drive if it's in. So let's turn off the computer. Shut down. I'm going to put the flash drive in, make sure that the computer is totally off. And now when I turn it on, this particular computer is going to boot from the flash drive first. Um, if yours doesn't, uh, there is another way to do it. You can just uh, kill the power to a computer a few times, but you're risking um, damaging hard drive. So this is the safest way to get into and sure way to get into the Windows setup. Um, there is also you can shut down the computer while holding shift I have found those to be unreliable this is the only reliable way to get into the Windows uh, installer repair or whatever you want to do um, it was nice in the past where you could just push F8 and it'll take you to that screen for they took that out and now we have to do this so now it's booted off the flash drive. We click next on this screen and then we go to repair your computer. Okay, 
There are several ways that this can be approached. Uh, I have seen on the internet, uh, you could just use the Windows uh, internal uh, by installing the driver. There is a, um, an old way to do this thing. It works on Windows uh, 7 just as well as it does on uh, uh, Windows 10. So we're gonna go to troubleshoot we're gonna go to command prompt and now we have access to the system and there are two com uh, commands that we're gonna run uh, right now we are in X sources the drive that uh, is C drive is now D so we're gonna do D colon this will take us to D if we do DIR to show the directory there is our Windows directory we cd change directory to windows and then we cd change directory to system32 all right in system32 we're looking for two files so we're going to do dir cmd star and that will show us the command exe this file right here and dir util man.exe and util man right here what we're going to do is we're going to rename util man so rename util man dot exe to util man dot exe or util man one dot exe so we're gonna rename util man into util man one dot exe all right so we got that done and if you want to confirm that you can do dir on it util man star so here's our util man been renamed into util man one and now we're going to copy a cmd into a util man so copy uh, you don't want to rename cmd we need that one so copy cmd dot exe to util man dot exe so you want this all right so now we kind of have two copy command uh, cmd uh, files so if we do dir cm oops util man All right, so we have two util man. Util man one is the original. You can see that the sizes are different, and uh, the util man currently is the actual actual CMD. So if we look at the size of the CMD file, where is it? Right here, two eight nine seven nine two. 289792. So we effectively replaced a util man with a CMD. All right, so now we're just going to exit. We're done with that function. We're going to pull out our USB drive. We don't need to boot from that anymore. And we're just going to do continue to Windows 10. Right now the computer is booting from the hard drive and we still don't know the password but this icon here, the ease of access, that is the shortcut to utilman that we just uh, replaced. This one here is now running CMD so if we click on it nothing happens. 
I guess I gotta restart the computer. The problem here is that Windows 10 treats hard drives differently than Windows 7. And whenever you make a change to the hard drive, it is very suspicious as to why did that change occurs. Um, it will remove the new files. Um, so be aware of that. If that happens, just repeat the procedure. Do not go into Windows 10. Just restart the computer. That should work fine. What we're looking for is uh, when we click on ease of access, that should open the command prompt. And there it does. Okay, if you don't know the actual name of the user, in this case, this says Jim, but it doesn't necessarily need to be Jim because uh, username could be changed, renamed, or whatever is in the front might not be what's in the back. So you do CD and then backslash, that takes you to the root, and then change directory to users, and then dir. Um, again, the Windows 10 presents everything differently, but here is the username that we're looking for. Can't see it. Oh well, it says Jim, right there. All right, so we'll go to the root, CD. Um, this video is a kind of complete video. There is a lot of shortcuts you can do. You don't have to check every step that you're making, but it does help, This and this is how you do it. And here we're going to run a net user command. All right, so here we type in NET user Jim star okay it's gonna ask for a password so before we didn't know what password was um, we're gonna put one two three four enter confirm one two three four enter password's been reset exit Now, if we go to Jim, one, two, three, four, it's working. This is an old trick, but it is slightly difficult or more difficult in Windows 10. So keep in mind that you have to be a little more persistent and precise in Windows 10 than you do in Windows 7 because of how file system operates in Windows 10. From now on you do have a password, you can remove it or you can leave it uh, or you can change it. But the computer is basically back to operational again. If you like the video, give me likes. Excuse me for some um, maybe unclear information. I will try and put the commands in the description. Hopefully this helps somebody save a few dollars. Enjoy and always save the save money.